working because we're not going anywhere. You are. Mum, it doesn't help to shout at her. I am not arguing with a child. I know what's best for both of you. This is our home. It's where we live. And I didn't mind coming and staying for a couple of weeks. But I've got another life now. You mean another blow? Yes, I've got a boyfriend. Is that wrong? It'll be best for you in the long run. And who are you to say that? I'm your mother. You're not our real mum. You stopped being our mum the day you walked out on us. Well, I'm the only mother you've got, so whether you like it or not, you're coming home with me. You'll have to find me first. Annie! Annie! Oh, well done, Mum. <sighs> Hiya. Have you seen Tanya? No. Do you want to wait for her with me? Can't, sorry. Jeremy, hang on. I don't think she's coming. I'll walk me in. Okay. What's the hurry? She wouldn't get in, that's all. I don't think Annie's here either. Do you think they're bunking out together? Do you think they're dead? I doubt it. They'd get into too much trouble. Watch out, Jess. Your girlfriend might see you with another woman. Hit him in the neck. Oh, never mind. I'm sure Miss Dyson will rub it better for you. Get off! She's not my girlfriend! Yeah. It's not me who's been giving you presents, all right? Yeah? Let's check your bag. Make sure. What are they doing that about? Is it you? No. Why are you seeing it then? I mean, everyone knows it's Miss Malachy, don't they? No, now they think it's me. Well, you do suck up to the teachers. Do not! I just meant... That's why they're picking on you. I mean, they picked on you before the presents, didn't they? Not like this, they didn't. Give it back! Is this what you want, Jessica? Said so, didn't I? Well, come get it, then. <laughs> Nick, you haven't... Nick! You haven't seen her... Stop, don't tell me. Let me guess. Fuck the sarcasm. Have you seen Shannon today? I'll say one thing for you, mate. You certainly try. Most blokes I know would have given up by now. That was sheer embarrassment. Her parents' anniversary today. So what do you want me to do? Buy her a card? The anniversary of their death. I thought you'd be a little bit concerned, you know, for Shannon. Yeah, well, she's not the only one with problems. Oh, well. Sorry to disturb you with other people's trivia. I can see you far too busy studying your own favourite subject. You. Where do you think you're off to? Oh, ICT. This is my first lesson. But what do we have to do before our first lessons? Registration, but I've just come from it. My homework. You had to hand in my homework. Have you done it? Oh, yeah. I put it on Malky's desk first thing, like we agreed. Good boy. Do you want me to explain what I did? Uh, hello, it's done. That's all I care about. But you won't understand. You know, you really do worry so much, Marge. Catch you later. What did you get this time, Jessa? Shouldn't we? It's probably your sandwiches. Have you bought us a bit? No, of course I haven't. What's in bag, miss? There's another present from your secret boyfriend. Yes, it is, actually. And I'd like you to have it. Someone left their swimming kit in the locker room. It's gone mouldy. Seeing as you're so interested, maybe you could take it to lost property for me. You want to see me, sir? Max Humphreys, I have just been going through your homework. Yeah? And all I can say is how impressed I am, if slightly surprised. Oh, it was nothing. You put together an excellent web page here, especially for someone who struggled to grasp the very basics in class. It just came natural, sir. Natural, hey? Well, then, it's a good job that I've called you in here now. Do you think you might like to explain to set one how you did it? No, you're all right, thanks, sir. Can I get back to my lesson? No, not just yet, Max. I'll... Uh... Put your work up on the screen. Perhaps you can tell us which web editor you used. Martin, did you do this? Yeah. It's Come on, Max. Slow. Talk us through it. What are you playing at? I wanted to do a good job for Max. Come on, Max. We're waiting. I'm thinking, sir. Malachy's never going to believe the Max did it. It's all right, right, I did. Don't you see? No. He asked me to do his own work, so I did Come on, it. Max. Explain to us how to begin in order to create a website like this. Uh, better yet, show us. You should have said no. Now you're both going to get into trouble. Why should I show them how to do it, sir? Do you know I've done it, McElroy? Why should I? I'm not the one pretending to be a genius. <laughs> Enough! Am I to understand that you cannot explain how you created this website? It's gone out of my head. All right. That's because it was never there in the first place. This is no more your work than it is mine. 
Now, detention at lunchtime. Get back to your lesson. And if I find out who it is that did do your homework, they'll be joining you in detention too. Sorry I haven't been more often. It's just been hard since Grandad died. I've had to help Nanny in the shop and I've had school and that. Well, I let things slip a bit with my work, but it's nothing I can't catch up with, I don't think. It just hasn't been easy. I met this guy at school. I hope we might have had something, but I don't think he likes me the way I like him. I'm not blaming him, because he's had his stuff to deal with, too. I'm just so lonely. I wish you were here. Didn't you find her? Well, she not come back yet. I'll have another look. Yes, quickly, please, Baz. Steve's coming to help ferry the stuff, and I don't want to be hanging around waiting for her. Is that all you're worried about? Waiting? I'm not having her all my life. She's become selfish. Well, what about you? Look, you've not thought this through from our point of view at all, have you? This is a really bad time for me, Mum. I've got my GCSEs next year. I have thought it through. The authorities are finding you both a school near me. What, just like that, you're gonna pack our lives up into a suitcase and march us out the door? It's for your own good. When I left, I didn't really appreciate how bad your dad was. He's been okay most of the time. But most of the time isn't good enough. I'm not sure it's safe for Annie here. Safe? It was an accident. And, if you remember, Annie didn't want to stay with you then either. Children can't be expected to make the right decision in a case like this. That's an adult's job. Like the decision you made to leave us in the first place. I left your father. You can't stay with someone if you don't love them anymore. It's not fair to them and it's not fair to yourself. And what about us? Was it fair on us? Don't try emotional blackmail on me, Baz. I did what I thought was best. Yeah, what you thought was best. Same as what you're doing now. How can you expect us to trust you? Because you don't have anybody else right now. Go and find your sister, please, Baz. Thank you, Jeremy. Nice to know one young man who knows how to treat a lady. What lady? Oh, Jeremy knows how to treat a lady. Well, he would, wouldn't he? When he's in love with her. I don't have to take this rubbish from you. I told you last year, now leave me alone. Good well, right, Romeo. Yeah. Keep your hair on. I wonder why they do this to you. I've just got it into their heads that I fancy it because I'm polite and they've got no manners. But the person even in presence doesn't necessarily fancy it, do they? I don't know. Why else would you leave secret gifts for someone? Well, to say thank you, to cheer them up. There's loads of reasons. Maybe, but it'd be a bit weird. Why do it in secret? It's creepy. It's more likely to be someone who fancies her. Well, in that case, it must be one of the opposite boys. She is quite attractive, don't you think? I suppose so. But if I wanted a girlfriend, which I don't, why not? Because I've got enough on my plate at the moment. I wouldn't choose Miss Dyson because A, she's a teacher, and B, even if I wasn't up sick, she'd be old enough to be my mother. So you don't like her a little bit? No. Could be anyone. Could even be a girl. Oi, a word. Do you want me to go through the homework with you now? I said it'd be a good idea. What would be a good idea is for you to stop making me look like a fool or else you'll have a hole in your head so big that all them clever ideas will run out. That couldn't actually happen. Anyway, I didn't make you look like an idiot. I made you look clever. Malachi was pleased with the work. He said so. But why didn't you help me when he told me to explain the work? Well, I didn't know you wanted me to. I'll give you a little hints. I don't understand hints. If you want me to do something, you've got to tell me. But then he would have guessed what was going on. But he did anyway. The point is, you made me look too clever. He was never going to believe I did that well, was he? But what I'm trying to say is that I could help you do it that well. I don't mind doing that now with friends. Then I might as well do it myself. In future, you've got to make it look like I've done it. So more like someone who doesn't understand what they're doing or why they're doing it. Are you taking the mickey? I don't know how to take the mickey. My mum said it's part of my Asperger's. Oh, all right then. We'll just do it better next time. I mean worse. Just don't get me in trouble again. All right. Where are you going? To play footy. Martin, you're right. Yes, thanks. I'm going to play football with Max. But you hate football. It's only because I didn't understand how to play. But Max is teaching me. He said I'd be as good as David Beckham if I could just learn to kick the ball. Annie! What? What on earth are you doing? I'm doing what I do every day. I'm going to school. I'm searching the streets like a maniac. Mum's packing everything we own into suitcases and you're going to school. 
She can do what she likes. This is my life and I'm getting on with it. And what about me? You're just going to leave me to sort everything out? You took her side this morning. It's like you want to go with oh, her. Don't talk stupid. I just know that screaming at each other doesn't help anything. I thought if we talked it through Palmer, she'd see it from our point of view. But did she? No. She's determined to take us back to live with her. I'm not going to. I hate her for what she did to Dad. And if she makes me live with her, I'll run away. You, you promise me you won't do anything stupid like that. We're in this together. So what? We've run away together. There's got to be another way. Like what? I don't know, but we can't just pretend it hasn't happened. Let's go somewhere quiet and think it out. Have you seen Shannon Parks this morning? No, sir. I don't think she'll be coming in today. Oh. Well, I thought getting Mrs. Bassinger involved would have sorted this out. Shannon has promised to have an assignment in for me today. Well, actually, sir, it's not a very good day. It's the anniversary of her parents' death. I suppose that would explain it. Well, thanks for telling me. It's good to know that she's got friends like you. I'm doing my best. I've got a lot going on myself. Well, surely you must be prepared already. It's not as though you didn't know your A-levels were looming. Well, it's not just that, sir. Well, listen, if you see Shannon, would you uh, tell her to come see me, please? Will do. Arrow's on the ball. He's going for the ball. Seaman's all over the place. He hasn't got a clue. He shoots his goals. Who's Seaman? I thought I was back. Come on, Martin. Go kick. You want me to kick the ball? Oh, yes. Give the boy a medal. Martin Miller, what on earth is going on? I was taking a goal kick, miss. I didn't see you. Well, that's obvious. Can you imagine how that could have hurt one of the younger pupils? Not really. What's got into you? I've already caught you playing football in the yard. Don't let me catch you again. I've got you a donut. How can I eat when this is going on? We're going to go through this thing properly, so that when we face her, we've got all our arguments ready. Why bother? She's not going to change her mind. What are you doing? I'm writing a list of pros and cons. Help us with our options. OK, so the first option is we go with her. Give me a chance, Annie. We've got to go through all the options properly. You've not got enough paper to go through all the cons. OK, so list them. We'd have to leave Dad on his own. I'd have to leave all my mates. OK, I'd have to leave Maddie. It would disrupt our schoolwork. We'd have to live with Mum's boyfriend. And worst of all, we'd have to live with Mum. OK, so now the pros. There aren't any pros. Oh, come on, you've got to think of some pros. What's the whole point? We could make new friends. I don't want new friends. I'm happy with the friends I've got. The new school might be better. Might be worse. Living with Mum might be better for you when I leave. Leave? What do you mean, leave? Well, people do leave home, you know. I mean, they get a job or go travelling or go to uni. And if you were left with Dad... What? I don't know. I mean, I'll be safe. If you write that, I'm not going to carry on with this. myself a treat when I'm feeling like this. Haven't you got something you like doing that makes you feel better? I suppose so, yes. But if you've hurt someone, you didn't mean to, is it still your fault? Well, maybe not if you weren't aware you were going to hurt them. Why, whatever's happened? Nothing, Miss. I was just wondering. I'll be all right now, probably. If there is something, you know you can talk to me, don't you? Good girl. Dry your eyes. Come out and get some fresh air. Yes, Miss. should phone her. Find out if she's all right then or what. Mm. You've changed your tune all of a sudden. I went out there with Maliki, the face of concern. I've already told you. I didn't know about today. You told Maliki you were giving her tons of support. I said I was doing my best. Yeah. Well, I don't think Shannon will want you crying on her shoulder today. 
Why are you messing her about? I'm not messing her around. Shannon's a mate. A mate? You really think she sees you as just a mate? You're just jealous. Shannon knows how to be a good friend. She can see that I've needed one lately. Yeah, well, for once I hope you're right. Because it'd be a shame if what she thinks is the romance of the year blew up in her face, wouldn't it? She doesn't think that. Why would she? You tell me. When are you taking Tony on holiday with you? Might be. What's it to you? Sorry. Do you want to sit together at lunch? Actually, I forgot my purse. Save me a seat, though. Oh, Jeremy. Have you got those posters you promised to lend me from your presentation? I want to put them up. Yeah, miss. They're in my locker. Great. Just leave them on my desk. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Jeremy. You're a star. Leave it on my desk. So were you all alone? Not over that. She likes it. Bug off, Louis. Oh, Jeremy, you're such a star. Why don't you come in my office and twinkle for me? Bug off! So you're in, then? No, I'm in the mirage. I just thought you might take the day off, that's all. And why would I do that? Well, I know what day it is, Chef. You've been crying. No, I just didn't take my makeup off last night. I was up late. So well, maybe you shouldn't have come in today, eh? How are you feeling? Not great. So, it's the relative's option definitely ruled out? Well, Auntie Kate tried her best, but I just got in Uncle Tom's way. It's well obvious. Can you imagine if there was two of us there? Well, you could go. But I told you, we've got to look at every option properly. And you also told me we're sticking together, and you're right, we are. <sighs> so Maddie's is out of the question. So is Auntie Kate's. So is your friend's houses. Let's face it, Annie. We have no other option. And how did we get in this mess? By phoning social services. If you want to phone them, Dad would still be home. No. Look, it was just a matter of time, the way things were going. He needed to sort himself out. Of course. That is the other option. What is? Get our social worker involved. Like, go into some kind of home. No way, not home. We don't have to go. We just have to tell Mum how far we're willing to go. And then she'll have to let us stay, and we'll still be home till Dad gets out. That'll make Mum sit up and take notice. And there's no way she's going to send us into care till Dad gets back. She'll have to let us stay. This is where you're hiding. I'm not hiding. No, of course not. It's just I didn't see you in the canteen at lunchtime, and I wondered where you got to. Well, I don't like it there anymore now that Josh has gone. There's no one to talk to. I just got something to eat like we used to. You doing your homework? It's during this afternoon. It's not like you to live to the last minute. It's not mine, it's Max's. Again? Why? Well, because he's my friend and he asked me to. Are you sure Max is your friend? I'm not sure Max knows what friendship is. Maybe, but I don't think I do either. I feel responsible for you now that Josh is gone. Why? Because if I hadn't listened to that other girl, she'd still have me as a friend. I feel bad about that. So why can't we just go back to the way it was before? Because I feel embarrassed around you now. My emotions are all confused. Going out together made us both change. Did you know that chameleons change to fit in with their surroundings? It's so they don't get attacked. But geckos can't do that. Martin, I'm trying to talk to you. And I'm trying to talk to you. When we went out together, you changed because you're a chameleon. But I didn't. I'm a gecko. OK. Geckos are good. Yeah, in some ways. But they can't adapt, so they tend to get eaten. Things again. You found her then? Is she okay? Yeah, she's fine. Right, well, I've packed all the school books I can find. We'll have to come back for the rest. Well, Annie and I have got something to say. I told you not to go through my things. Well, somebody had to do it. Right, Steve will be here in an hour. We've had a talk and we've agreed. We're not coming with you. We want to stay for Dad. I've told you it's impossible. So put it out of your minds and get yourselves ready. It's not impossible, Mum. We've decided. I'd rather go into care. <laughs> into care? You'd rather go into care than come home with your mother? We'd rather be anywhere than with you. Annie. <laughs> Rubbish. Do you think they're going to put two children in care who've got a perfectly good mother willing and able to look after them? Grow up, Baz. If you think you can scare me into staying here, think again. You're coming home with me. What are we going to do now? Baz, what are we going to do now? 
Sorry, I'm not Nick. Get a life and give the guy a break. Did you know he went to the police to change his statement? Should have told the truth the first time, shouldn't he? Anyway, just trying to make sure you don't get hurt. Change the flipping record. You don't have to be jealous anymore, Hudson. Nick doesn't want to go out of me. End of story. Oh, and he's told you that, has he? He told me he still fancies Mel, if you must know. He made his feelings quite clear, so I did have to make a fool of myself telling him how I felt. <laughs> what? Nothing. What did you say to Nick? Look, I just warned him, you know, not to mess you about. You told him that I fancied him. You pathetic, jealous idiot. I was trying to protect you. You were trying to make me look stupid. Oh, Shannon, no. I hate you. Oh. Hey, where's the fire? <clears throat> Shannon, I, uh... I understand today hasn't been an easy one for you, but we we really need to sort out this coursework situation. Sorry, sir. Can we please talk about this tomorrow? <laughs> no, I'm afraid we can't, Shannon. I had rather hoped that you'd have the work in by now. Well, then there. There's your work for what it's worth. I, we... Happy now? Shannon, have you got... No, I haven't! Sharon. <laughs> what I wanted to do was I just wanted to look after you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> okay, that's Steve. Get your bags. I'll get the door. Coat, Annie. Mom, this is Adele. Who? Adele Baxter from Social Services. We have spoken once before, Mrs. Wainwright. Yes, uh, I remember now. But I didn't call Social Services. What's going on? No, I called them. You wouldn't listen to us, Mom. I told you we don't want to live with you. We want to stay here and stand by Dad. It's what's important to us to keep the family together. Oh, I'm sorry they called you. They didn't need to waste your time. It's just that they're coming back to live with me and it's hard for them to get used to the idea. We understood that from Baz and Annie, Mrs Wainwright. That's why we've placed them under a temporary care order. A what order? You shouldn't have tried to move us without social services permission anyway. See, Dad has legal custody because you ran out on us, remember? So you'd rather go into care than live with me? Like I said before, we'd rather go anywhere than live with you. You've done nothing to make us love you. You can't seriously be letting children make this kind of decision. Look, we may be children, Mum, but we put up with anything rather than run out on the people that love us. And that's something you'll never know about. We love Dad, and we'd never leave him. I'm only trying to do what's best for you. There's too many unhappy memories in this house. You'll be happy once you're settled with me. If you want to do what's best for us, then you'd make us stay here until Dad gets out. But no, you want to do what's best for you, like always. You remember what it was like. I had to leave. The unhappiest memories I have in this house are of you walking out on us. I'm sorry, Mrs. Wainwright. We'll be in touch. I'm supposed to be your girlfriend. Will you tell people that it's not me leaving Miss Dyson presents? Why should I? They're just a bunch of exams. Ah! 